Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Pixel, and in today's episode of our beginner scripting guide series, we will be learning about variables and functions. Before we begin, I just wanted to remind you all that I have a Discord server. The link will be in the description. My Discord server allows you learners to come and chat with others and discuss scripts, builds, and also to get help. Also, I wanted to add that I love all the comments and support you guys give me. I promise to keep working hard to push out videos for you guys. I hope that you will enjoy what I have coming in the future. I have nothing else to add, so let's get into the tutorial. We're going to start fresh on a new base plate, so make sure you open one up. We're going to be opening the windows that we need, which are the Explore window, the Properties window, as well as the Output window. I didn't explain what the Output window is in the last episode or show you, so I'm going to show you now. The Output is very important when you are scripting. It can help you with diagnosing errors in your script because it, it'll display an error in red in the output. It gives very important information as to what went wrong, such as what type of error, what line of code, and clicking on it will not only open up the script that had the error, but it'll also put your mouse cursor on the line where the error occurred. It's very important to always have your output open when scripting. So to begin, let's insert a script into Workspace. Go to the Model tab here at the top. On the right, click on the Script button. It'll insert a script into Workspace and open it up. The first thing you'll see is print hello world. This is the perfect opportunity to test out the output. So exit out the script by pressing the X next to the script near the top, and then click on the test tab at the top. If you click on the little scroll down button, you will see the word run. If you go ahead and click on this button, it'll start running your game. And in the output, you'll see that it printed the word hello world. Clicking on it will open up the script and our mouse cursor is on the line where that took place. This is also the same for errors. Now let's head back into our script. Click on the red button to stop testing before you make any changes to your script. Now we can erase the print hello world. Now what are variables and what are functions? Well, we'll begin with variables. A variable is a name you can use to hold a value. In Lua, the coding language of Roblox, a variable can have any data types, such as numbers or a string. Let me show you. Assigning a value to a variable can be done using equal signs. Giving your variable a name, hit space, put an equal sign, and press space again. As you can see, I have two variables here, my string and number. My string represents the word hello and the number represents the number five. If we were to print these variables by using the print, but just putting our variables as the argument inside of our print function, it would print the values of each of these variables when we test. Hello and five. We head back into our script. A variable can be changed simply by assigning another value to it. Since scripts run top to bottom, it'll print the value of n, which is 12, but then it will be assigned the number 24 and then print this new value. And if we test, it proves just that. 12 and 24. Lastly, you can use a variable as a value when assigning. Don't let this confuse you though. n and x both represent 5, but if the value of n changes, so will the value of x. You can test this, but I promise you that it works. Remember, a variable is always on the left side of the equal sign, while a value is on the right side. Now, let's get into functions. Functions provide developers with a useful way of creating a code block and giving that code block or sequence of commands a name. Think of functions as a block of code that can be executed again and again. This helps us to reduce needless replicating code throughout our scripts to perform the same sequence of tasks over and over. So we're going to write a little function here and it's going to be titled my little function. So by typing the word function with the name of the function, uh, open parentheses and close parentheses and hitting enter, it'll throw an end at the bottom and then we can type anything we want. We're going to use the print function here again and we're going to print hello and bye 
and then you have to go outside of the end. Anything in here will run when the function runs. And so we're going to call my function. And to call it basically means that we're firing it or executing it. So just do this. Doing this will fire off the function. So if we go in to um, run and test, it'll say hello and bye. We can also run the function multiple times. So if we were to add two more of my little function, then it would run a total of three times and have a total of six words. When a function is called, the caller can pass to the function one or more values to be used by the function when processing the request. The values are placed into variables with their own unique name. The variables are also called parameters or arguments. The parameters, like I said, are like variables. The arguments we supply when we execute the function become the values of the parameters, and in the same order. Num1 represents 3, while num2 represents 4. These two here are our parameters, and these two here are our arguments. And if we test, it'll show, it'll show the number 7. Okay, so there was a little fault in my scripting. This was supposed to be a plus and not a um, comma. But now if we go ahead and test, it will show the number seven. So if we change these to literally any other number, one in 500, it'll be 501. So that is how you use arguments and parameters. All right, that concludes episode two of our beginner scripting guide. I hope you guys learned a lot about variables and functions, since they are the base of what is to come. We'll be using mostly functions and variables in our future tutorials, so stay tuned. Make sure you comment, like, and subscribe for more awesome scripting content. And as always, keep on scripting.